Hello, welcome back everyone. It's a new Blixa devlog and you're watching on Michio. Of course, I'm the only one here, but yeah. So we're gonna talk about Blixia, the progress of course. We're gonna start with the entrance. If you remember on the other devlog, if you haven't seen it, yeah, you can watch it. Uh, I did uh, at the end uh, work with entrance. So of course we need to make now so we can entering the mine. I didn't want to use the on trigger enter or yeah, on trigger stay, on trigger exit. So I did make my own. I did read a lot of things and I did find something called matrix. You can use matrix to make a cube and rotate it. It's very complicated for me. But yeah, it's working, so that's the most important. So now can we enter the cave? And of course, I did make a simple design for the cave, but remember that I always say this is a concept, but to understand it's gonna be something like this. But we have some problem. We couldn't enter the cave because I haven't created a good game manager. So I need to script really really fast okay now when we are loading the game all the game manager and everything UI and everything gonna start on uh, don't destroy on load and now I'm maybe saying it wrong but yeah you <laughs> you know I can paste it here now can we enter the cave that's the most important okay I know I know day and I cycle again I, I understand that I have been done so much for it, uh, but it's gonna be more day night cycle here. Uh, first, did I fix lamps? Uh, we can say lamps or torch. Uh, example in cities, example in towns. Uh, at the night, uh, the torches or lamps gonna light up. And when it's daytime, it's gonna be off. So that's something new to the game. And I feel like it's a little bit cozy, uh, if I pronounce right. It feels really good to go into a town or something when it's fire or something at night. And uh, there was something else. There is a YouTuber uh, he calls Rob. He did suggest me something quite important uh, for this day and night cycle. And it's uh, when it's night, maybe it shall be a little bit more bluish example like moonshine and maybe got some more orange in different time so yeah I did fix that I'm not sure if it's really that colorful I did fix but it's a little bit more bluish and sometimes it's a bit more orange and yellow on the day so yeah thanks for that Rob and remember uh, go into his YouTube channel he work on awesome game you can watch this if, if you want he's really awesome so thanks for that <laughs> and I did make some small improvement for the day and night cycle uh, that you can see I have been adding a Sun and a moon icon so when it's a daytime it's gonna be a uh, example a sun there when it's night time it's gonna be a moon and of course I did fix so we can see current day so it's if you have been playing three days or something yeah so you can see the days so yeah some more improvement for the day and night cycle I'm sorry yeah I know too much day and night cycle but yeah <laughs> I really like it Error, error, yeah, you know, it's a lot of error. I did find some more errors like bugs when you're entering the caves. When you did hit some enemies, yeah, the game did crash. So, yeah, I did make some uh, change on the enemy health bar and uh, the canvas for the enemies. So, no errors anymore. So, not so important, but yeah, we need to fix the errors. I did upgrade the ground texture. Before did I have very smooth, but now did I fix some simple details on the ground. After that did I start working with, now I'm gonna pronounce wrong, but modular house. So this means like example, I gonna create example walls, doors, windows and everything. So in Unity can I start working with uh, many different house. 
uh, example the size if it's one bigger or small one so that's something I'm gonna work with and of course that means like soon you're gonna see house in the game so yeah that's everything for this Blixia devlog if you enjoyed it yeah remember subscribe like and comment so yeah have an awesome day